What's up guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the boat that I just picked up, a 23 Venture uh, Bay Boat. A boat that I think a lot of people will be interested in because bay boats are expensive right now. I picked it up for very cheap and you'll see why, but um, I didn't get to record as much as I wanted to on the demo process. Just a matter of me being bad at recording and only being me doing most of the things on it and not wanting to ask my dad to hold a camera when he's helping me out. But um, the main thing that you guys missed was pressure cleaning and grinding. Uh, there's some grinding in here, but you do really see what I mean because there, there was a lot of it. Um, and also digging out the foam. Um, it's really the easy stuff though because really all you need is a grinder, maybe a pressure cleaner if your glass is as bad as mine, and a shovel, hammer, or crowbar to dig out the foam. So, nothing groundbreaking there, but you did miss a little bit of it. So, my goal for today is finish up the grinding on it. I've gotta grind down where there was foam and just make sure that it's all flat and it's nice and laid up. Some biax on there. Gonna be using epoxy this whole build. Gonna be using all composite or composites, no wood. So, it's gonna be pretty much a custom quality boat, but obviously it's gonna be done by me, so a lot less money a lot less in labor. And you guys can do it too. I'm not by any means a boat building expert. I do know more than the average person because I've been doing it for probably over 10 years and just helping my dad out. I've been doing it four years professionally building hatches that I sell to make people's projects easier. So yeah, if you guys like the whole process of building, you're gonna see this thing come together completely. It's gonna be a completely different boat than what it is for every other person that's built it before because hull's been passed around a lot, not gonna lie. But no one's really gotten the console right on it because of the size being so low and the casting deck's been all weird. So we're gonna do it simple. We're gonna do nice flat casting deck, two layers to this boat. Gonna be the top casting deck area which you can walk around the cap sides, no problem get to the back where it gets the engine well and all that gonna have a lot of space back there and the cockpit which will have the seating and the console so yeah uh, hopefully you guys would like to stick around and see it come together because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun update that foam is pretty much cleared out from what I can get to I'm debating cutting out that piece right there I gotta cut out the pipes on either side they're just three inch pipes they're PVC that cost me like 50 bucks said and done um but my next mission i gotta get the pressure cleaner in here and i just gotta blast all this first layer of glass off it's all just crumbling up, completely deteriorating i'm gonna do two coats of biax on there and i don't know if you can tell you can't uh you kind of can the boat is very crooked and it needs badly to get straightened out on this trailer so i can get it training right so gonna do that too. Gotta get a jack too. That's big enough to hold it, but yeah, tons of fun here. All right, so update, we are now digging out foam again, trying to find the cause of why that water right there is still standing. So we're gonna get to that. I'm gonna try and figure out why the water back there was standing and in the front of the tank, but yeah. Let's get it done. And that's how you do it, boys. Just have air shocks and an air compressor. All right, boys, so the trailer's stuck on here, right there. So what I did, blew up my air shocks in my truck, put a couple two by fours under here, and now it's gonna pop right off. See you boys in a second, put my truck out of the way. Get here is standing water, as you can see. That's one of the first things you wanna get out because standing water just leads to mosquitoes. It leads to a bunch of other crap at the boat. So, I tried to get the drainage clear, draining a little bit out, but mostly not. So best thing to do, take your filter out of your shop back and go to town on it. So I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. All right, boys, day two, goals for today. Get this not six inches from my fucking truck. Clean out the rest of that shit. Get this thing straightened out on the trailer and put it in that fucking side yard. Got class at five. Let's see if we can make it happen. Alright, so update. Haven't really done much on the boat, but I've done some landscaping here. 
And now I should be able to get this thing back here. Even though now I have to clean up all that. I've cut that table down. I have to just move all this shit out of the way. I gotta get this failed attempt at a bait pen out of the way and all this shit. So yeah, we're making progress. It's slow, but we're making progress. Well, that was easy. Oh, sorry, it's right there. Nothing fucking to that. Thank you, Floor Jack. Thank you, Kevin. Day three, number one. Getting this thing straight on the trailer, finally. And as you can see, we got a little tilt. And then we're getting the drainage sorted out. Maybe pressure wash it. I don't know. I'm not going for much today. I'm kind of tired. All Let's right. Do it. So, we have a drainage problem that is right here. And it is causing a major backup all the way to the front of the boat. So we're going to clear this problem. And then the pressure cleaner is out. And we're going to hit these sides and get this loose layer of glass off. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Hopefully it'll be done in an hour or so. And I'm taking out the Bertram. The majority of the grinding's done. Need to get right there. Clean up in there. Get these sides ready to glass in maybe Wednesday. Hey, Alan, when are we doing your project boat? It's just a little bit of grinding and glassing. Come on. It's nothing to be scared of. So I know for some of you, you probably don't know how to use a seven inch grinder. It's really just the same as a three to five. The thing just really wants to kick back at you though. So you gotta watch out for that. We are, I think around 30 minutes in and it is hot. I've made it up to there. Kind of vacuuming it out too, but it's looking pretty good. Look a lot better with a coat of Biax on it, but we'll Before get, we get started here. Meat and potatoes time. Pressure cleaned all this, getting it swept up now. See a bunch of it. I'm in my Tyvek suit. About to grind this whole side at least because, you know, it's shady. Maybe wait for a little bit to get this other side, but um, yeah, let's get into it. I'll talk to you guys once I'm done because I got limited time here because I don't want the neighbors to see me doing this and it's two o'clock. Ended up doing a skin of glass already. Of course, I didn't record because my hands were disgusting. But look at that. What a difference. Man. Looks good. Next step, stringers. Ends right in here. And we're figuring out a layout. Alright, guys. So it is a couple days after the last time that you saw me. And we've made some good progress here. And I mean really good. We've got all of this glassed in. We've got it grinded down to there. And we're ready to put in some glass right there. Next thing we have to do is right in here on these stringers, we have to bring them back up like that to make it level with the floor. Got everything drained out. I mean, we're looking good here. We're gonna be cooking with some gas in the next couple days. Gotta get these forms ready. Gotta get these stringers back up. Then we move on to the fun part of the floor and bringing up this. So I'm thinking right here, with this bulkhead right here to the transom right over there is all going to be a single level casting deck with two hatches on the side or one hatch on each side and one in the middle and this boat's going to be really accessible for a bay boat you're going to be able to get on the bilge really easily to all your bait pumps so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe